today I thought I'd, I'd show you how I go about um, showing my young dogs how to take straight lines in order to retrieve whatever game it, that is shot. Sometimes it's blind, sometimes it's marked, but this is how, how basically you go about doing retrieving for, for, for both instances. This is Ben, he's a young cocker dog that's about eight, nine months old. Um, he's just got used to sitting, sitting and being relatively quiet. Um, I haven't done much retrieving with him, um, so we'll show you how, he, how I start with him, and then I've got a slightly older Labrador dog um, that is a little bit more advanced, and I can show you how you go from one to the other. Okay, the essential thing is to find a um, boundary fence, boundary uh, hedge, or even a straight path uh, cut through, through, your, through your, your lawn where you've actually got a straight line in which you can direct the dog down. Um, in this instance, we've got a, a, a maturist hedge which we'll use for this purpose. Um, you actually keep the, do the young dog on the lead until you teach him to heal. Um, you will then drop the dummy on the floor and walk away a young dog like this, five or ten yards, drop the dummy, walk away, stop, turn round, show the dog where the dummy is, and then send the dog out following the line of, 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 the, of, the, of the hedge. Um, if your dog isn't comfortable with it, shorten the distance, and then over time as the dog becomes more used to doing the exercise, you gradually increase the distance to whatever you feel is the distance you require your dog to go to. Position the dog on the lead, making sure that he's fully conversant and attentive to, to the dummy in your hand. Throw it out behind him, point the dog to the dummy, turn and walk prescribed distance of around five to ten yards for this young dog. Turn round, hop, make him sit and say get out. Ben, Ben, good boy. Good boy. Again, show the dog the dummy, make sure the dog is attentive to the dummy and throw it away and make sure the dog actually marks it on the ground. Turn round, keep the dog close to heel, go the required distance, which clearly you need to make a, a judgment on what, how attentive your dog is and the memory span and send it. Don't worry too much about it running in at this early stage, you want the enthusiasm there. Good boy, good boy, Ben. Okay. Um, the one error that can, that can, or problem that can crop up with this exercise is that you overestimate the um, capabilities of the young dog. So please ensure that you start off at a very short distance because the shorter the distance, the more retention to detail that the young dog has got. If you have this scenario where you send the dog out and it doesn't go out to the dummy, then nine times out of 10, the distance is too far. Reduce the distance and start again until the dog is going out from you with full vigor and he knows where the dummy is. And then as the dog becomes more experienced in doing it, you can then increase the distance by about five, 10 yards at a time. And then over a two to three week period, you suddenly have a dog that will go out 10, 15, 20 yards with full of confidence. You can then put in the more, the work around making the dog steady. Because as you can see, as a young dog, I want him to go out with enthusiasm. I don't want to dull that enthusiasm. Having just shown you a, a totally inexperienced young dog going back on a straight line, this is Glenn. He's about three, four months older than the cocker. He, he's just turned his first birthday. Um, he's been doing this exercise now for about five or six weeks, um, and he, he will go out 30, 40, 50 yards. Um, and I'll also show you how I go from the transitional of a memory retrieve into a blind retrieve. Um, it's very much the same process, it's just increasing the distances and the confidence in the dog that when, he, when you send him, he knows there's something at the end of that request. Go ahead. Throw the dummy and walk. Then get out. You could see there that the dog wasn't 100% sure, but he kept looking and then when he did see the dummy, he, he made that final push for speed. Okay, without um, rushing things too much, clearly there are instances in, instances in the shooting day where a bird has been shot, your dog hasn't seen it, so your dog has got to have confidence that when you send it, you're sending it out there for a retrieve, that there's something there he's going to find. This is, the tra this is just a, a quick snap of how I move my dogs from the memory retrieve, where he knows it's there because he's seen it's put down, to, the, to moving to the, thing, the scenario where I'm sending the dog out and he, he hasn't seen anything land. Um, 
Again, it's about building the dog's confidence, making sure that it, again, it'll start off at short distances and then gradually build the distances up. But always make sure that when you do this exercise that the dog does find what you want him to look at. So you, you're putting out blind retrieves for that dog to find. Do never try, even attempt to send the dog out without him trying to find something. I've actually placed a dummy out, out in front of me that the dog hasn't seen me do. I'm now going to try and send the dog to retrieve the dummy even though he hasn't seen anything put in that location. Up, go through the same setup as you do for a memory where you're actually making the dog up. Get out! Good boy! Good boy, Glenny! Good boy, and hop. You can see in the clip that we just shot that the dog was very hesitant in going out to, to, to try and locate the dummy. That was because the dog hadn't seen me put that dummy down. I was confident that I could probably get the dog to that location with that shorter, period, uh, that shorter space. What you need to do is determine how confident your animal, your dog is, and short, you know, if the dog goes out and he won't go out any more than one or two yards, then shorten the distance to one or two yards and then over a period of time, increase the distance until the dog is that much confident. And then over, over again, again, a period of four to five weeks, the distance will increase, increase, the dog will go out with confidence. I'll just show you the finished result with this young spaniel bitch that I've got here. Get out! Um, that's taking you through the three stages that I go through when I'm training my dogs to go through. Um, blind retrieves and memory retrieves. Hopefully you'll find some benefit in, in the way I've gone about doing it.